everybody happy Wednesday welcome back to the channel welcome to all my new subscribers thank you all for tuning in today I greatly appreciate it um, stay tuned of course make sure that you are subscribed and you have hit that bell stay tuned for Sunday um, will be my next reveal of my um, makes for the month um, for all those who saw my plans video um, a couple of you asked are you gonna sell all that this month well yeah I am the only thing that may be a challenge is um, the knitting um, item but we shall see and thank you to everybody who said okay you have those are crochet needles <laughs> so I have since ordered uh, proper needles yes I did order the wrong needles but um, I will have my they actually should arrive to the day you're seeing this um, I should have them but <clears throat> anyway let's go ahead and jump into this video um yeah I, another make that i'm very excited about all about bhm pattern designers uh challenge for those who don't know anything about the challenge it's your first time hearing about it this is the month where it's my birthday month but it's also black history month and the month that um a challenge i started three years ago um to highlight and promote uh, various black pattern designers, but also fabric companies, um, bag pattern designers, crochet knitting, uh, whatever the case may be, everything is on the website. So if you are just now tuning in and just now hearing about it, um, definitely go to www.sonaturaldane.com. I'll leave a link to everything down in the description box below, but you can go and read all about the rules. You only are counted for things you have actually sewn in the month of February. So no entries of things you worked on or started in January um, that doesn't work or submit things that have been um, made a year ago. So everything must be made current in the month, February 1st through February 28th. Um, and you must tag uh, myself, So Natural Dane, and my co-host, uh, Island Socialist, as well. And so, yeah, I'm just going to go uh, jump right in. Don't forget, um, the fabric that I'll be talking about today is available on my website. Um, so you can pick this up. <clears throat> Um, off of the website but let's go ahead and jump into this look so yes you all know I have made the um, Luna Peplum this is the Cosido studio which is one of our sponsors for BHM pattern designers thank you so much Vanessa um, you all know I have made this top before and I um, decided I knew in this fabric I wanted to make it again but I wanted to do something a little different and so I'm going to share with you what I did different let's just knock out the easy thing that I made. This is a Kalela Ali pattern, <clears throat> a black pattern designer. Um, she did a collection with Simplicity Patterns. This is pattern number 2948. It is an out of print pattern. I'll pop it up here. It is an out of print pattern, but you probably can find it on Etsy, uh, eBay, even check Amazon sometimes. Rarely on occasions we'll have some of these out of print patterns. But I just did um, the skirt, which is view E. Very, very simple. I made it before um, last year um, in the summertime for one of my uh, summertime looks. But very easy. It's just two pattern pieces, the waistband, the yoke waistband, and the skirt. What you will see um, are pictures and video pop up throughout the video so you can see the entire look because obviously you won't be able to see it um, as I'm sitting here. Um, but so super easy to put together and I really do like this um, I made the jacket actually last year if you are wondering what I made last year or the last couple years I will link up in the iCars the BHM pattern designers playlist that I have here on my YouTube channel and you can see what was made the past couple years even see other entries because I always do a montage at the end of the challenge after we've chosen the winners and so you'll get to see what um, you can go back to those videos and see what what people have made but last year in February I did make um, the jacket um, I've since donated it because it's too big but this entire um, pattern is a really nice um, wardrobe collection that you have a skirt then you have the tank and then you can um, the tank is also can be a dress and then you have the pants so um, yeah definitely more skirts in my future because it's so easy to make and it's definitely something super easy now for this time of the year as it's 
tr we're transitioning back into our warmer weather um our high um it's a little overcast today but our high this week is supposed to be 80 um so it's really nice so i've been thinking about things that i can make um that will transition that i can still wear in the summer and this skirt is definitely something i can wear in the um in the summertime now one thing i will say um about the skirt i found it very staticky um and very clingy so i did try and you'll see in the pictures it might look a little distorted i tried to um take some pictures that you know wasn't always clinging and all this other different stuff so um i did get that fabric from um nick of time fabrics so i probably would not order that type of knit again i have ordered other knits from nick of time fabrics which was phenomenal um but this particular um kind just seemed to do a little bit of um had that kind of clingy thing going on but again it's a basic black skirt something i don't have um and it's out of knit which i don't have i, I don't have a woven black skirt either but um for for the summer and transitioning here um, into spring, I think it will be perfect. And I'll be able to combine it with other things. Both of these pieces, I will be able to wear with other things, which I love, which was the intent um, uh, with these particular makes, that I can pair them with other things with no problem. So let's get into the top. So the um, top is the Luna top and the Luna peplum. If you saw my post on Instagram and I believe in a previous video, I talked about Vanessa um, uh, did uh, have a soul along for this and the Ankara Rec. Um, Facebook group so I will still leave all of I'll leave a link to all of that uh, below again and remember uh, Cosido Studio is offering a discount for BHM pattern designers which I will pop up here um, throughout the month um, until the end of February so go check out our patterns go visit our website and um, grab you something during this month take advantage of those discounts um, so I actually um, let me tell you about the sizing because I made this last in early fall or was it October I can't exactly remember but she had re-released it because she was working on the design and everything and so I was a tester um back then um I, no actually i wrote it here it was re-released in november um and so i did do a pattern test and so you all know how um that turned out it was a great fit absolutely loved it and so i decided i wanted to make it in this fabric and so this is the basic comb cotton um it's a woven fabric and it is the one with the purple flowers and it is on a navy blue background it is coming across um a little more purplish navy blue kind of um so yeah but it is um termed as being on a navy blue background now for sizing like i said when i initially made this i did grade between um sizing um for for the pattern and let me just pull out my notes so um you know what I did so I did grade between her and if you uh, know her sizing you know she uh, breaks it up into a b c um, measurements her just so you know for the full bus she goes up to now if I'm going off full bus measurement she start at an a zero that's the a section to a c um, eight the C section, which goes from a 34 and three quarter inch full bust up to a 56, 34 inch um, full bust. So I graded between the CO and the C, initially the C6. Uh, but since then, I've gone down. I still started with that CO and see here. And I think I could have even tweaked it just a little bit more. Um, and then grade it out to that um, a C4. And so I still think I could have took a little out because I was wanted to make sure the um, across the breast drape uh, right because it is princess seams. So making sure this all is going over um, good and everything like that. So um, I probably still could have or instead of going down a size, I probably really could have just increased the seam allowance because the seam allowance for the pattern is five eighth inch is it five eighths um mostly five eighths there are some areas that's three eighths so where i did three eighths i probably could have did five eighths um and then 
just to and you'll see in the pictures as um that i pop up in the video that um i think it's still a little more roomy um i will say i'm very proud y'all have to look here at my um invisible zipper i am so proud of my invisible zipper it looks absolutely phenomenal but i absolutely love the peplum top you all know when i first made it i i was like okay i want another peplum top and i want one in knit i do have a pattern that um <laughs> that has the peplum for knit um so yeah but i wanted to make another woven and i am so super happy the instructions are very easy this is not a lined bodice so super easy to put together with the princess seams in the front and the back like i said you really can play with the fitting and get um the type of fit um that you're looking for um always I suggest in any pattern especially if you're not too sure about the fitting always do a muslin first um, just to see if there's any tweaks you might have to make around the shoulders around any area um, of the bodice but let me tell you what I did differently for this top remember I talked about uh, Marcia Spencer she is the um, um, she's the one that put out the ebook the puff a puff sleeve It's called a puff sleeve piece and it's called puff it up and there's a lot of different um, variations on how to um, do different things to your sleeve puff sleeve different things like that and so um, I linked to it before in a previous video but I'll um, I'll link to it again her website and so um, if you follow her on Instagram she's known as Kichi B style I'll put that on the screen but um, her name is Marcia and I decided to try her petal sleeve so she has a petal sleeve um excuse me a petal sleeve um um, some instructions in the ebook and so I decided to give it a try because I was like oh a petal sleeve on this will be so super cute and so and again I love this where you can play with sleeves play with what you want because I wanted the sleeves to be a little longer but shorter at the top and so you do need to play with a little bit with your sleeve piece and and, and the instructions do talk about that but let me kind of show you my sleeve see how my sleeve um the length is the same as the length i made in my previous peplum but then when you do the um do the petal sleeve so you got this whole overlap here um up at the top and you um, and I did gather in a little bit at the top to give it a little bit of that gather sleeve at the top I absolutely love the way it turned out and I did turn it under twice hopefully you can see that I'm um, to finish off the hem same thing um, with the bottom um, and the one thing <laughs> if if you notice in the pictures right here I was trying to um, salvage my fabric and so you see the salvage edge peeking out on that side um but I, I got it right got all my seams lined up and everything but i absolutely love the way that isn't that cute isn't that cute and so um i had so much fun um with this and when it was finished i was like yes it turned out how i envisioned now again for me working from home um let's be honest zoom calls you do not have to be dressed from head to toe um but <laughs> from um and most at least at my company other companies might um work differently um you don't even have to have i don't even have to wear a top like this to be on a zoom call um can be very relaxed our company is like that um but when there are maybe presentations you have to be on screen um especially if our ceo or something comes on then yeah this is something that i will put on and um uh for that but for the most part we are so um super casual um uh working from home um at this point but i am very happy with the puff sleeve one of the things i do want to point out about the sleeve i thought i had my yes i have my sleeve piece when you are working with your sleeve piece um again um you'll see that she has you um trace out your pattern pieces these are two different pattern pieces here that you trace out so i have to back up here a little bit so when you are determining your sleeve length which is here and then the overlap just you know play with the size of this make sure that you are marking all of your your notches and 
um, depending on your sleeve pattern, you might have gathering notches or markings or whatever on your pattern. Make sure you are tracing those off on both uh, pattern pieces. Make sure you are marking your grain line, as you can tell here. Um, yeah, you just want to make sure that um, all your markings and everything is 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 marked because when you do overlap uh, these pieces, everywhere that you have marked see that marking up here and then there's markings right here and right here you want all of that to line up because you want that see that sleeve so that's that that overlap that you see on my on mine so you know just play with it play with the length that you want what's comfortable for you you might want yours shorter you also might want multiple layers of a petal which will be so super cute. So make sure that you are playing with um, all of those um, different elements because again, the reason I really like the ebook and I download it because I just like all of the options she put in there. And then you can just put your own little twist on it as you are going through the ebook thinking, oh, I can do this and combine that. And yeah, just play around with it. But I thought it turned out absolutely beautiful. And I'm sure I have been popping up pictures and everything as well. But yeah, this is my next make um, for this month for BHM Pattern Designers, highlighting um, these uh, pattern designers here um, for the month. And so yeah, I am very pleased with how this has turned out. Again, make sure that you have subscribed. Make sure you tune in for Sunday. That will be my next look. And again, um, <clears throat> you can get this fabric on on the website again remember all of the custom fabric the enamel pins the garment labels will be offered just for the month of february so make sure you pop on over there <clears throat> And grab whatever it is um, that you would like and yeah I am so excited people have been putting in their entries they have been um, showing us progress along the way make sure you're following the hashtag BHM pattern designers on um, Instagram so you can see what people are um, doing um, make sure that you visit the website we have a plethora of sponsors with um, they have also offered discount codes and we have new companies are being added who are also um, uh, providing discount codes as well um, that are not sponsors but they uh, reached out and wanted to provide uh, discounts as well during this month so make sure you're staying up on everything um, on the website and of course if you have any questions you can leave them down in the description um, in the comment section below um, and again yes this is a challenge that's opened up internationally so um, that is something definitely want to stress and again make sure you're making your garment or bag whatever it is that you're working on through the month of February between February 1st and the 28th um, and make sure you tag Kiara and I and you must use the hashtag BHM pattern designers in order to be entered so very very simple rules so that is it make sure you stay tuned again for Sunday and yeah if I missed anything or if you have any questions make sure you leave them in the comment section down below but I will see you on Sunday bye